Welcome to Coding Literacy Flakes 14 of 40 HTML Part 7 Head This will be the last part for HTML and the next flake we'll look at um, CSS But to start off with, let's look at what a head does Okay, first of all, let's load up um, Notepad++ Oops, And there we go, okay, to start off Let's uh, start with the documentation um, doc type HTML. This just lets the browser know we're using HTML5 as our coding language. And doc type needs to be uppercase with the exclamation mark in the beginning. It's case sensitive. This part's not, it could be lowercase or uppercase. HTML to let the uh, to let the browser know we're starting a web page and that's where the web page finishes okay now what we're not familiar with is this part here called head which is not intent and um, the head section means that things will occur behind the screen um let's finish it off and the body section simply means we will see this on the screen so basically whatever you type in between the body tags you'll see on the screen, we use that, we've done that for the last six flakes on HTML but we have never seen the head one, okay? And with the head there's a whole bunch of instructions and this is important because we'll start CSS next session and move on to JavaScript the head section allows you to add the add-ons, the apps if you like uh, to these extended languages, but for now a simple little instruction, a uh, title, there's a whole bunch of them um, but a, a title tag is, in, is one that's pretty popular HTML part 7 by me OK, and title off what that simply does is, it's going to put on top of the tag or when you go to a, when you go to a browser, there's a title bar on top here and the title bar will display whatever you got in here. That's what it does. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of instructions behind the scenes. Well, we're just looking at that one there. We're just getting ready for the higher level languages. Uh, in here, if you use, use this, we'll just type in something like um, this is my seventh HTML page. Okay, now paragraph break, but for adequate, I'm going to put a forward slash at the end of it. Paragraph on its, um, this on its own is the same as this as well. The only thing with this does is lets the programmer know who want who may want to debug your program in the future that there is no beginning or end to that tag. It's a standalone tag. Okay, head uh, tags um, are instructions um, behind the screen displays on how your browser should behave um, okay and put a, a, a line break there indication adequate that there's no beginning or end to that line break just a line break standalone one, standalone tag I should say. Next one is head tags um, are important um, especially um, for appending other web languages um, such as CSS and JavaScript, which we'll be looking at in future flakes. A line break there, adequate forward slash, making no difference. Um, in this example, uh, you'll see a message on the title bar of your browser. that you've provided between 
the title tag meaning whatever I put in here the title tag that there is going to be displayed on the title bar of the browser uh, and that's it let's have a look at it so this sort of file I'm going to say this as my seventh dot html actually I don't need to do that with notepad plus plus I can just type in the title and choose html from here okay and save it and there we go it's already done let's have a look at it so I'm going to run it now and see what we've done I'm watching Chrome and there it is this is my seventh HTML there it is across the title part title bar there HTML part 7 by me and it's working if I change it by Paul Paris if I was to save that and I go across here and refresh it it would change to Paul Paris uh, by the way this is going to be our last HTML um, display because we're going to do CSS shortly just to kind of remind you that you can add all those tags we've learnt um, from previous flags such as the head one, head one I've got to have a head one there, you don't need to have a paragraph pack I'm going to put a close head one there uh, headers to do their own line breaks if I was to save that and refresh that you should see, should see a header nice and large okay uh, don't forget you can put colour so I can put in text and make it red so cross hash RGB so be full on red zero 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 that gives me a RGB yep I was to say that I have a red page I don't want a red page but I can do that I can mix the tags together uh, actually it's red writing I should say there you go um, I can do links all that type of stuff we learned in the past you can mesh them all together okay uh, I could just make this blue as well. I could type in the font color, split the American way equals make this one here blue. So RGB, it'd be cross hash R, oh sorry, cross hash R zero zero G uh, green zero zero blue will be full on, and that should give me blue. And I'll start the blue coloring from splitting across to the other side or other text by typing in font stop and that should give me a blue colouring there you go ok so you can mix and match, I can put a photo in there, whatever I want so that's, uh, that's it for now, thank you for watching